How to patch ROMs on iOS. If you're eager to play modified versions of your favorite games on your iOS device, you'll need to know how to patch ROMs. This process might seem complex, but it's actually quite straightforward once you understand the steps. First, you need a patching tool. One of the best tools for this job is ROM Patcher JS, which is browser-based, making it accessible on any device, including your iPhone or iPad. To start, head over to the ROM Patcher JS website. Once you're on the site, you'll need to select your ROM file. Click on the Choose File option and browse to where your ROM is stored. Make sure you have the correct ROM file, as the patching process won't work if the files don't match. After selecting your ROM, you'll need to upload the patch file. This patch file is usually in formats like IPS, UPS, or BPS. Select the patch file from your device and the tool will do the rest. Another option is to use multi-patch, which is more versatile and supports multiple patch formats like IPS, XDelta, BPS, and PPF. If you're using a Mac and then transferring the patched ROM to your iOS device, multi-patch is a great choice. It's compatible with macOS 10.9 or later and can be used in conjunction with emulators like OpenEMU. When using multi-patch, ensure you have the patch and ROM files ready. Open multi-patch, select the patch file, and then choose the ROM file you want to patch. The program will apply the patch, and you'll have your modified ROM ready to use. It's always a good idea to keep a backup of your original ROM before applying any patches. This way, if something goes wrong, you can revert back to the original version. For those who prefer using their iOS device directly, there isn't an auto-patching feature available, so manual patching is the way to go. Tools like ROMPatcher.js or transferring patched ROMs from a Mac using multi-patch are your best bets. By following these steps, you'll be able to enjoy your favorite ROM hacks on your iOS device without any hassle. Just remember to always be cautious and keep backups to avoid losing your original files.